Hello, my loves. I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon and This Bitch. Join me as I read you your life, baby. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. You already know I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do, baby. And if you need to get a personal reading from me, make sure that you hit the description box down below. Check out my website, LaRoseMoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, spirit, you are welcome into this reading. Here we go. We must sage the cards for all of the gods. Okay. My loves, we're going to see the current energy for the 19th through the 20th. We're going to find out what's going on in the atmosphere, what you should expect, what's going on with your karmic energy, um, and also possible outcomes. So let's see what's up. Let's find out what's going on in my collective's current energy for the 19th through the 20th. What's going on in the atmosphere, baby? Here we go. Oh, we got cards jumping and flipping. So far, we have the 10 of pentacles, my loves. So, money, foundation, stability, financial requirements, coming out of a treasure box. Some of y'all could be dealing with a legacy, okay? Um... I also feel like things could be moving kind of slow or you feel like things are moving very slow, but they're in a loyal type of pace here with this Knight of Pentacles, okay? But I'm getting, a lot of you guys um, are going to see some success as well. Some of you all could be really tired, okay, needing to get some rest. A lot of burden shift in your overall environment. I do feel like getting to the money, things could be kind of, Moving in a little slow. You could be moving slow. You could be traveling, okay, as well. Some of y'all could be doing some uh, hourly traveling, okay, by plane, whatever the case may be. There's things that are going to be moving at a proper pace, okay? I'm also getting for the forecast, my loves. There's definitely, um, like I said, you guys are going to be feeling a, a victorious type of vibe, a victorious feeling. Now, be careful of those people that are watching you, okay, that are watching you in the background because you're receiving your victories. If some of you guys have uh, been waiting on um, some sort of news or a letter, it's going to be here. It's going to be here, okay? I'm also getting for some of you guys, like I said, you're tired, burdened, overworked, Okay, some of you all could be feeling like you're needing to put some burdens down, lay some burdens down and really concentrate on, on what it is that you're going to do, whether that's getting rest. Okay, some of y'all need to concentrate on making actions, but just taking a break, but thinking about the actions. Okay, but I'm also getting a lot of confidence here too. So with the strength energy, there's going to be a lot of major confidence coming in for you guys. You know what you need to hold on to, what you need to let go of. There's a lot of things that could have been stopping you. And now there's something that's going to help you shine and embrace what it is that you're trying to get over, get through, okay, overcome. I feel with a lot of this confidence, some of you all are trying to tame that inner beast as well, too. You're trying to, you know, like I said, grasp that understanding of what it is you're going to do, whether or not you're sitting down, sitting around, whether you're going to get these accomplishments done. Let's see what else we got for my collective. I feel like there's a lot of messages passing through as well, too. Some of you all are trying to avoid a lot of disagreements, arguments, people. Okay, also too many people in the equation. I feel like you guys are trying to drop all of that situation and come into something that's really, really, uh, that's in a better perspective for you is what I'm seeing here. Some of you guys are leaving situations behind. Like I said, there could be some sort of flight or someone could be driving or there's definitely some something where you're destined to go to. 
with leaving away from a lot of people. Uh, I'm also getting, yeah, I'm getting the same energy. Definitely letting go of a lot of commitments in relationships and those thoughts of what commitment could be. Some of you guys are just working towards a real progression of love here and a connection that actually works. All right. Some of you guys are going to be working diligently, not working hard, but working diligently, working smart. I feel you guys are going to be progressing towards a relationship very soon, or there is someone or something in your energy that you're thinking about the progressive uh, behaviors of your relationship. So I have the 10 of cups. So definitely some happy home foundations could be some celebrations that are going on. Okay. I know a lot of you guys, uh, your children could be getting out of school or you could be getting ready to go into celebrating the Christmas times with that 10 of pentacles. Some of y'all could be shopping. Okay. Giving some handouts. There definitely could be someone who's on that giving and receiving end. there could be some people that you're needing to uh, give your money to as well. So be aware of that. I'm definitely getting that the foundations of your of your happiness, your emotional stability. Okay, grandpa, grandma, auntie, uncle, cat, dog, all of that shit. I feel like you guys are definitely taking that into a perspective. Now, somebody could be giving out some money or there could be someone who's giving to charity or uh, giving some working back to someone who's in need. Um, I'm also seeing with this full energy here, you guys are going along with the flow as well too, just letting things kind of happen as they may. Page of Pentacles, like I said, could be some traveling back and forth. Definitely some traveling here. Um, so it doesn't matter if it's by boat, by walking. Okay, whatever the case may be, this is some traveling. But there's going to be a new leap of faith. There's going to be a new beginning happening for you guys. I don't really see that you're expecting this all like lovey-dovey emotional relationship type of shit. But I do feel, um, you know, you, you're in the knowing of what's happening in your circumstances. So with this page of swords, I feel like there's going to be a lot of spine going on. People could be doing some pop-ups. Be aware of those motorcycle cops, like I tell you guys all the time, or people that are watching every little move that you're doing, being very impulsive, people who are speaking too soon. Um, but I also get with this Empress energy, there's a new abundance, new energy uh, that's bringing along um, a new host of abundance, okay? Someone could be getting pregnant here, so be aware of that with this Empress energy. I'm also getting, you could be getting in nature, smelling some roses, dealing with herbs, um, dealing with flowers. Also, there's things of your comfort, cushion, okay? Feeling comfortable. And I'm also getting with the uh, moon energy. Some of you guys are really going to be thinking about the hidden, the unknown, what's to come, okay? What's under the surface, what's not happening. Some of you all are thinking about the things that are happening while the moon is out, okay? Uh, I'm also getting a lot of changes, happening, okay, coming up in the atmosphere, Wheel of Fortune, also Tower, okay, so there could be some sudden changes of communication possibly. Also, um, I'm getting some of you all, someone's trying to come out of the dark, but they know that they're on some tricky type of energy, so be aware of people that are definitely uh, being manipulative here. Now, I do get that some of you all have love coming in. This is probably why these pages are here, where there's some sort of jump start that's happening. You guys could possibly be coming along your path with a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, but I'm getting you are uh, calling in your intuition, okay, of what path you're going to go down, what love circumstances you're ready to take. Okay, there could be some love opportunity, love abundance with a possible Aries, Gemini, a Virgo. I'm also getting, um, for some of you guys, a Scorpio as well, too. At the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Wands. For some reason, I knew that this would come out, okay? Uh, so definitely some passionate beginnings here. Some of y'all could be needing some sexual energy, okay? It could also be needing uh, 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 somebody who's got that, like, you could be either masturbating, you could be getting some sexual energy off, you could be wanting new love beginnings, you could be wanting a new love, passionate start. You could be starting a new beginning in a job, a situation, but there's definitely going to be a lot of loving energy around you, all right? There's a lot of new beginnings happening, ace of pentacles, ace of wands and ace of cups so new beginnings coming in for the next couple of days 
Okay, so new beginnings, love, new beginnings, sexual new beginnings. Uh, some of y'all could be turning down some people or there could be a lot of people who are just like, mm, I'm cold on you. Uh, I feel you guys are going to be in your independence. You're going to be very sharp in your mind and your intellect and your thoughts uh, of what it is that you're, you know, bringing out. OK, what you're exuding, your aura. I'm also seeing some of you guys are getting to an action, definitely traveling here as well. Um, I'm shocked I didn't see the world energy, but I'm getting here. Some of you all are going to be happy in your uh, fruitions, okay? Surrounding yourself with money. Some of y'all could be shopping, shopping for food, all right? Shopping for them weed grapes. <laughs> Definitely surrounding yourself with your own um, environment of security here, okay? And making final decisions of your security, Two of Pentacles, you could have been um, entertaining two different things, two different energies, balancing multiple shits is what I'm saying. But you're grounding yourself, okay? You're definitely grounding yourself to make final decisions. So let's take a look at um, your karmic energy that you're dealing with all together. We're just going get, to get a brief look. I don't even want to take too much of a long time on your karmic energy and what's going on with them. All right, children, your love life is being affected by children. So there could be some children that are involved. All right, someone is seeing their uh, karmic in the light that they are needing to see them with the children, okay? I'm also getting there is a true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. So this is probably what those new beginnings are all about and feeling them in the moment, all right? And also freeing yourself in reconciliation. Uh oh so some of y'all could be freeing yourself from someone who you've tried to make it work with, or there is someone who's going to try to come back and make it work with you. Uh, I'm getting here that some of y'all could have felt very caged in to a lot of uh, to a lot of things that transpired, or this person definitely feels caged in because of what has happened, and it's having to cause them to free themselves and to release their ex. Okay, so your karmic energy can be releasing their ex at this point in time. Let's see what's going on. First of all, let's ask about these children. What's going on with the children and their karmic? Uh oh, we got high priestess energy here. We got cards falling out. Also, the hermit. So, you know that they've closed themselves off. Could be due to their children. Could be some things that were found out about their children. But definitely getting some wisdom or some insight. Some of you all, this person could finally be taking some time to take care of their child. Okay. But there's definitely children that are involved here. It could be some truths that come out. So, let me get one more card on the children. Yeah, Page of Swords. Definitely somebody... Um, that's dealing with somebody who's very mischievous here with this page of swords. So uh, I'm also getting here. Um, someone is watching their children or having to watch uh, what's going on in the household or what's going on with these children. But definitely some impulsive type of energy with this page of swords. Somebody who's quick. Uh, you know, to do impulsive type of behavior. All right. Let's see what this free yourself is all about as well, too. Okay. Hair of fonts, also king of coins. I feel like you're freeing yourself or your partner could be freeing yourself from the situation altogether. It could be due to their beliefs. Okay. They could be having some financial issues. They might feel used as well, too, is what I'm getting here. Or someone was definitely being used with, for their finances. Could be dealing with someone older with that hair of font, but I'm also getting that someone has a lot of cultural differences or cultural backgrounds uh, that could be, you know, involving a different way of life that you're not really interested in. Okay. I'm feeling like that's being exposed here. You yeah, have five of swords. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so with the five of swords. I'm getting um, some of you all, your person feels left out. Someone has shut them out. Um, they could have been feeling lost and lonely. All right. Even with the people that were surrounded by them, they're definitely feeling left out here, feeling like they don't have anyone to call. 
their own, okay, is why they're needing to free themselves. I'm also seeing uh, that they need to, they made too many actions or they weren't thinking about the actions that they were supposed to make before doing them, okay? <clears throat> so I'm also getting here uh, true love. So let's see what this true love is all about. Judgments, all right. So you guys are putting a lot of thought and decision, okay? A lot of judgment into uh, making a final decision. You could have had a head of heart decision is what I'm seeing here, but I'm definitely seeing in your karmic energy, your person knows that there's a decision that you've made with this true love, okay? Some of y'all could just be from two different sides of the coin, okay? <laughs> two different sides of reality, uh, I'm also getting here with the Ace of Coins, your partner or someone is definitely having some sort of struggle. Okay, the Ace of Coins came in reverse. So there could be some sort of struggle on your karmic's end. And I'm getting for some of you guys, there's uh, definitely some truths that they feel need to come out because they're being like very, like they're victimizing a lot. All right. Or they're always like, I don't have and I'm lacking and I don't have this and that. So your karmic is definitely like over there struggling. Um, and I feel like there's some sort of message possibly coming out very soon um, about their struggle. So let's see what this release your ex is all about. All right, four of wands, hangman energy and strength. Okay, so there's definitely some sort of break here between you and your person. It could be that they didn't really research what was happening. They didn't really heal from a situation or someone was needing to take just a little bit of time to fucking heal and they would have been all right. I feel uh, this person definitely had some sort of marriage or there could have been something where there was some community penis, community pussy up in this motherfucker where you had to release them. They could have been hanging around, not really getting anywhere, just feeling very stuck and stagnant. Could have been a third party situation. I feel like all of that is being cut off right now with this queen of swords, death energy here in reverse. Okay. So someone is definitely releasing themselves away from someone else or something else. It could be because they, uh, you know, were exposed or there was something that was exposed here, or there was some truth that came out because someone was guarding some information with that queen of swords. Y'all already know the queen of swords wants that information. So let's see what this reconciliation is all about. Okay. We have the eight of swords, someone coming out of uh, hiding. Okay. Um, every time I get this card, I think of someone who's hiding behind their screen or who's looking at their uh, screen of their phone. Okay. Or of their computer or of their TV, and they're trying to come out of that. I feel with this reconciliation, you're wanting to keep your options open. They see you wanting to keep your options open, even though they know that they want to try to come in and try to build something with you with that emperor energy here. I'm also getting, um, you know, they see that you're moving on and they're still holding on, but they were the ones who caused a lot of damage that caused you to go into healing and to holding and withdrawing away from them. Because they were definitely very jealous, I get. And I get that they're also, uh, with this reconciliation, someone wants to come back with an offer from the past, but it's definitely something that was traumatic with this devil energy that you're trying to leave away from, trying to move away from. They could have been balancing multiple people. Capricorn energy here, also Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right. But in your karmic energy, I'm getting that someone feels definitely left out in the cold. Five of Pentacles. All right. Someone feels like they're going through a loss, through a struggle. Like, I don't have. Like I said, they're definitely struggling because they missed out on their soulmates. They definitely blocked out their soulmate with trying to juggle multiple people. Okay. Going back in the past, dealing with exes, people from the past, holding on to people from the past. And I feel like that's why someone has gotten their heart broken and a lot of their possibilities are going out of the window. Uh, but I feel you already know the truth to what actions they're going to take in the future anyway. Okay. Because a lot of truth is coming out. They're going to be drawing forth towards you. Could be because they've lost a lot of their possible candidates. Okay. Or just people who are interested in them. But I'm getting for a lot of you all, this person wants to come in with a reconciliation um, because they see you happy. Like I said, you know, misery loves fucking company. Ace of Cups, once again. So 
A lot of you guys have love coming in. This person wants to approach you. We're going to see about possible outcomes, my loves. Here we go. I'm going to get this other deck. And then we're going to find out what's up. Okay, so let's see what possible outcomes, what's going on in the atmosphere all together, the collective for the 19th through the 20th of December. All right, three of cups. So celebrating family, friends, okay, joyous occasions coming together. All right. Um, seven of cup energy here. A lot of you guys really are keeping your variety open, your options. Like I said in a few of the other videos, you guys are wanting to have variety here. Um, you know, you're wanting someone to definitely tell it like it is. Okay. And I'm also getting that you might be having things implode to where it makes it that way. You're having to keep your options open. All right. Um, I do feel like a lot of you guys are in sorrow about some situations you're having to leave behind because you're having to keep your options open and keeping your heart open at this point in time. But I feel like you're limiting yourself by doing that, by staying in the past. So loosen yourself up. Um, now, some of you guys might be dealing with multiple people that could be coming your direction. So you need to pay attention. Okay, Leo Sagittarius, Aries energy here. Uh, I feel like there's somebody who's wanting a competition or there could be a competition with multiple people. This Hierophant energy, some of y'all could be dealing with um, businesses, um, jobs, churches, okay, things of that nature. Some of y'all are getting your businesses taking uh, off the ground with this emperor energy, okay? You're putting a lot and investing a lot into your business, into some sort of relationship or a connection that brings it closer together on a spiritual level, okay? So some of you guys could be dealing with a lot of control, but it, to me, this seems like this is a spiritual uh, a spiritual level, level up, all right? So um, I feel like there is, like I said, there's a reconciliation coming very soon. If someone's going to be like, oh, I left someone behind and I'm going to concentrate on this. But I feel like their plan really isn't um, healthily guided. OK, it could be someone who's not really healthy in their emotions. Um, but I feel like the truth is going to come out either way that it goes. You're going to be sitting in your truth. Some of y'all going to be, uh, you know, catching the truth before they even have to tell you about it is what I'm seeing here. Now, some of you guys are definitely dealing with going back and forth, like I said, with that page of pentacles. Could be some traveling involved messages that are here that are traveling back and forth. Okay. Could be on Instagram, Facebook, things of that nature. But I'm seeing overall, you guys, those emotions are on a good level. Um, your family matters, your love life. Okay. Once again, Page of Cups definitely could be something going on in your family or some good news coming towards you. Definitely a lot of uh, messages, communication, transactions. Some of y'all might be transferring money. There could be some transfers of emails, okay? Just definitely a lot of flow of fast communication coming in. Your emotions look absolutely wonderful. You're not going to take any shit if you don't need it. You're going to, you know, stand your fucking ground. Some of you all are missing your soulmate. You're missing that energy, but I'm also getting that you know it's a struggle. You know that it's mind games and mental hardship, okay? And that there's definitely something that's for a change of better yeah, because you got the Ace of Pentacles. So yeah, all of these Aces here, definitely new beginnings, joyful beginnings. Some of y'all could be waiting on paperwork, being processed. You're going to get it. You could be waiting for money, abundance, things in the mail. You're getting that because there's a real change happening very, very soon to my subscribers, okay? And I also feel like this could be someone who's bringing in a lot of money, a substantial income that really helps with this boost. Wow, what did I say? Making it rain. So money is definitely a priority here. Okay. And also letting go. Y'all know how hard it is for humans to let go. Shit, that's not one of the hardest things in life. But it's time to let go and move on. Okay. Because time is changing. And it says, stop talking. Shut your mouth and listen. Listen to your angels. Listen to your divine. Okay. Listen to who is helping you. It says shit's going down at your job as well. So for some of you guys, it's time to reevaluate, change your perspective, or fucking quit. This could be for your karmic energy as well, too. All right? 
And I'm also getting, uh, get some fucking sleep. Yeah, 10 of, 10 of wands. You're being an ass because you're fucking tired. Face to pillow now. And some of you all are dealing with someone who definitely has a high ego. And it's saying that you are loved. You are here for a reason. Don't fuck it up. So whatever reason you are here for, you're calling. Don't fuck that shit up. Let's see what the uh, advice cards are for the 19th through the 20th. Master. Oh, shit. So you're mastering your heart. Okay, the advice is to close your heart. Don't give too much. Yeah, win or lose. So pick and choose those battles. Okay, pull your sword out when you need to. Don't give them your all, you guys. And also heart chakra. So taking care of your heart. All right, giving and receiving love. Um, and making sure that it's on the level that you want in, in the same in return. Okay, and also rebuilding here. So some of you all are rebuilding your lives. Okay, and you're starting to see things come into fruition as well. Success and growth. So definitely growing here in your success. You guys could have some new uh, thoughts or ideas that are coming to you and you need to jot those down and realize how powerful the mind really is here. Okay, and being on the move could be love, being on a new change of pace. Okay, understanding the dedicated efforts and the things that you could be afraid of approaching. All right, my loves, I'm going to get on out of here. If you need to get a personal reading from me, hit the description box. You already know I'm here for it. I love you guys oh so much. I want you all to have a wonderful, wonderful evening and day, morning, all of that shit. See you guys in the next video. Peace.